So with all this talk of who Savitar could or couldn't be, let's apply some real logical thinking to who out of everyone we know could actually kill Iris West, because that's really the determining factor here. Someone who has the capacity to do it without any information we're unaware of, who do we know that would actually go through with this that we see every single week on the show? So careful for spoilers if you're not caught up with The Flash this season. You've been warned. Let's get into it. So people have been saying Iris West could be Savitar. Iris West. This makes no sense. In order for Iris West to become Savitar, she would have to be alive, eventually turning into Savitar. Killing herself now would just create a paradox and ultimately cause Savitar to vanish like Eobard did back in season one. Unless there's some weird time remnant of Iris West running around, I don't know why she would want to do this. So it's highly unlikely to be Iris West. Then there are people who say it could be Wally or Joe. Let's think for a minute here. Why would her father or brother want to kill her to get back at Barry Allen? Think about that, okay? Nothing this season has given us any indication that either of them would have the will or a reason to kill Iris West. The only question mark here, and there's only one, is if Savitar possesses Wally to do it, in which case then it's not Wally, it would be Savitar. Then we have the Caitlyn theory. The Caitlyn Snow theory. Okay, so Caitlyn is already a metahuman named Killer Frost who does some pretty deadly stuff with ice. She really has no reason to become Savitar. There's, there's no point in that. Plus the fact that the newspaper said that Killer Frost came back, which means she's gonna be Killer Frost again. And I can't see her having any reason to reach out to the Speed Force to get Megatron's armor to become Savitar. So Caitlyn Snow would never hurt Iris West. And if she did become evil, it would be Killer Frost. And then we have Cisco. Now here's the thing, Cisco, he's been possessed by Savitar. Okay, but he's not a speedster, right? And he really has no reason to hurt Iris West. Like most of the people we've talked about so far. His meta powers are strong enough that he wouldn't have any reason to seek out speed force powers at all. Like literally he can fight speedsters and do all this cool stuff without connecting to the speed force. Also, just a reminder as we go through this, we did see Savitar from behind and he didn't look anything like Cisco or really any of the characters I've mentioned so far. Let's keep going. Barry Allen, the future Flash theory. Really, Barry, why would any version of Barry Allen be motivated to kill Iris West? Right now, with the information provided, we have no reason to believe that our version of Barry from any point in the timeline would kill Iris West. Keep in mind, I'm talking about the characters we see every week here, not some alternate cuckoo world version, okay? Um, not to mention, it seems counterproductive for Barry to become Savitar. Uh, if he created the prison in the Speed Force and the Speed Force had no reason to lie to Barry, why would he lock himself in the Speed Force only to trick Wally into breaking him out of the Speed Force to go and kill Iris West? It's convoluted. Okay, I don't think it's gonna be that complicated. I don't see it being Barry Allen. If it is, I will be really surprised. So with all of those names mentioned, that only leaves a handful of characters we know who could possibly be Savitar based on the characters we see each week or that we've known of in the past. There's the Eddie Thawn theory, but he's dead, right? I mean, this is probably the biggest issue uh, is him being gone. Like he's not a regular every single week, but he does look like the guy shown as Savitar from behind. He does resemble him. Uh, another issue with this is we're talking about Iris West, and I still don't see Eddie killing her to get back at Barry. That seems really nuts, unless it's an alternate version of Eddie we haven't met yet. And again, I'm not talking about alternate versions. So if that happens, it's not gonna be the Eddie we know. Then we have H.R. Wells. Can't really rule him out. He hasn't been that close with Iris, not like the rest of the team, and he has some sketchy stuff that's been going on with him. Even though we know a little bit about him, we don't know as much about him as we could, and he seems to have some kind of strange relationship 
with Savitar, that's got me a little concerned. But, you know, we've had a Wells be evil in some capacity in every season. I feel like that would be too obvious. But out of the whole team, he's the one that has the least connection to Iris, I think, that's with the team every single day. Lastly, Julian. Julian came in late in the game. You know, he worked at the police department. Now he's with our Team Flash. Um, here's the thing. Julian seems like the most likely cho choice for a few reasons. Number one, he has almost a direct connection to Savitar. Just put on his head transmitter thing and you can talk directly to Savitar. It's like a 1-800 number to Savitar. He was also Savitar's stone holder for what we saw of Dr. Alchemy in the earlier parts of season three. We also know he's very jealous of metahumans, so wanting to become one by any means necessary isn't too hard to believe. He's also a character that's most likely not gonna be on next season, meaning he's expendable, which I think Earth-19 Wells is also expendable. Uh, he also resembles the person a little bit we saw becoming Savitar in the scenes when we saw him as a human behind the, the head of Savitar. Uh, so talking all of that out, it seems like the list is very narrow realistically on who could be under the armor. The only thing that could throw a wrench in the gears of this is if Savitar is someone we haven't met yet or a version of our team we haven't met before. Also, if the scene of the guy who becomes Savitar isn't the person under the armor, like it was just sort of like, hey, here's a picture of somebody becoming this thing, then it could be a total misdirect, meaning that all of this means absolutely nothing. But as of right now, we have no reason to believe that. So with Grant Gustin and the rest of the cast coming out and telling us we will never know who Savitar is until he's revealed, I think it's safe to say that he could really be anybody, right? I mean, he could be anyone, but for me, it comes down to who would actually be willing to kill Iris West. And there's a lot of people on Team Flash that we know that would never do that unless they were possessed by Savitar himself, which makes it not them and Savitar. What do you guys think? Are any of these options for you or are you believing it could be someone else that I didn't mention? Let me know in the comments below. That's all I got for you guys today. Take care, have a great day, have a great week, and I will catch you later.